Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, Bashem Rakak Wadash. My name is Shikaba from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. This is, say, a response to Elder Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar, and Elder Apostle uh, Rakas, and Elder from Texas, uh, Yashawamba, a video they made. Centers around Elder Apostle Tahar's video he made on June 8th. It says, Seven women shall take hold of one man. Now, we all done you know, videos on this one. Let's give you some examples of, uh, you know, when you go outside the country, you know, uh, you know, uh, especially women, they, they treat you different. One is because, you know, you were a foreigner, obviously, and they think you got money or whatever. And the other is because, you know, they actually appreciate you more than the people that you grew up around all right and this is how it's going to be when we get in the kingdom we're going to actually be superstars in the kingdom of heaven all right well really even when in the time of jacob's trouble the uh israelite man is going to be a superstar i mean like the beatles like michael jackson like uh that group queen all like those uh artists like the famous people, we're going to be well known, all right? You Israelite men that have been, uh, you know, defamed and and uh, looked down upon and, and counted, you know, to be pretty much broken, dusty, you know, you know who says that. Uh, so, you know, start off with Elder Apostle Tahar, his video. Let's start off with that. So it's like a continue, a continuing thought of visions and insights that Isaiah saw. So Isaiah actually saw many women around one man. And that's by nature. See, Esau, he'll lock you up if you got, you know, there's a thing called polygamy. You know, he'll lock you up if you have uh, more than one woman that you're married to. Because this man is the devil. He's he's against you know nature human human nature they call it but anyway this sister she sounds like she's from maybe Nigerian and she's gonna break this thing down and it makes all the sense in the world so I don't know what Bishop Nate and IUIC is is, is thinking about you know if I was a hey, if I was a part of the IUIC. As a young man coming up, and here it is still talking. Are you? Allegedly, sex is designed for one main purpose procreation. Anything else, that's extra. The female reproductive cycle comes around once a month. For a man, it's every day. So the female's reproductive cycle comes around once a month, her reproductive cycle. For a man, is every day. Yeah, if you're a man, you know, your nutsack, you uh, you feel like energy building. Some people say you got to get the poison out. You feel that energy uh, building, all right? And you got to get it out, all right? Let's go. For each sexual act, the woman's one egg is matched by the man's 120 million sperm cells. And let's do some calculation. 120 million sperm cells a day every day, as opposed to one egg a month every month, meaning Assuming all the cells are viable, that it will take only 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world. This point said 120 million sperm cells. Basically, she's trying to say in one, you know, you unload, it can be up to 120 million s sperm cells. And obviously, you can't pick each sperm. Well, I guess if you, you can technically do that, but she's saying she there's enough sperm cells within that load to impregnate uh, many women all right but of course you know in, naturally you wouldn't be able to do that you would have to one load would be for <laughs> one woman then proceeding would you know be for the you know consecutive women but i get i get her point he's right she's saying that you know men can bring back can uh, reproduce 
in much larger numbers than if women were to, you know, have the uh, option to have many men. All right? it's, it's, uh, it was designed that way for men to be polygamous. All right. You hear that? Did you hear that? I'll call it, I got to do the calculation myself, but she said it takes it could take as little as thirty men to impregnate all a woman. You are who your father is. You are who your father is. You are who your father is. Let me say it again. You are who your father is. If an Israelite man, a Judite man lays down with a Moabite woman the child is going to be a Judite but it's going to have Moabite fe features if a Judite man lays down with an Edomite woman the child is going to come out a lighter and may have the Edomite features or somebody um, uh, uh, what is that the phenotype look that word up what's this guy um, really not white. Well, this is Spaniard. I got to do the research. Blake Griffin. But anyway, look up, yeah, uh, so. what's up, uh, James Earl Jones. So let, me, let me look that up real quick for you. I pretty much got the value I need on this video. Let me look, look up his son. Uh, this is James Earl Jones uh, Flynn. I think that's how you pronounce it. See, he looked like a, like a Edomite. Well, he looked kind of mixed. Let me see. He look like a If you didn't know any better, you would think he's a, a little hat. All right. Who is James Earl Jones' son? Flynn Earl Jones. You would think he was a little hat. Or, you know, he, he looks kind of mixed you, if you keep looking at him. Because, you know, when you age and sometimes you look more like your father when you're young or sometimes it takes you to mature to start looking like your father all right yeah right there has him now if he has um because if he marries a white woman or or a fair a fair-skinned woman or another nation he's going to look even more he's going to look different but if he marries a, a very, very fair-skinned woman, the child's going to look even more like the mother. All right? But that spirit and that child is an Israelite, 100%. Just biologically, they're mixed. They're biracial. All right? But the spirit, which is the most important thing, is an Israelite. All right? Let's see what's some more what the elder got to say. Uh, Um, one of their sons, whatever, I don't know how many children they have. Uh, Blake Griffith, which he looks, he looks mixed. Let's say, let, let's say that he looks mixed. So he looks like he can pass for white, but he, uh, he could be one of the Latin tribes, maybe a Middle Eastern person, or, or Patrick Mahone is in the that dark skin, uh, super dark skin. Levite brother, which is the father of Blake Griffin. That that child is gonna look just like an Edomite because the father looks just like an Edomite, and his father is mixed. Talking about Blake, so she made that statement. Now I have to do the math myself. That they that only thirty men can uh, impregnate the whole earth. Uh, second Ezra 15 or second Ezra 16 so that there's going to be a sh it says a, a man shall be more precious than fine gold so what is it actually saying that there's going to be a shortage of men that's in the apocrypha that's in either a second second uh uh, second Ezra 15 or second Ezra 16. Somebody can put it in the comment section. It speaks about the uh, uh, the brides not having um, bridegrooms because they will they will die in the war in the tribulation. 
And so we're going to be doing a lot of having a lot of sex with a lot of different women to bring back that nation. And that nation. But because the man is visual. And this guy said in the movie, um, True Romance. Um, we're going to have the spiritual power and all that, but we, we're going to all have our. All right. So I got that, 2nd Ezra 16, 33. And I think uh, Isaiah 13, what the elder apostle was talking about. All right, so let's start off with uh, Isaiah 4. It says, uh, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach. All right, so because... We're not going to have a, like a need for resources or anything like that. Um, well, especially in the kingdom. But, you know, this is, you know, referring to, you know, before you know, we make it to the kingdom. Because in the kingdom, the Israelite woman is not going to have any uh, any shame, actually. She's going to be perfect. You know, she's not going to be loud, not going to talk back. She's not going to sew, sew shit in her hair. All right. It's not going to be uh, disrespectful. You, you'll believe it. Or not. I, got, I got a video I'm about to show where when the, the, I guess the master of the house just walked towards seats. And he said to the man, I'm going to show it, to sit down. And the woman just got up. He didn't even tell the woman to get up or nothing. They just got up and walked off. All right. That shows, uh, you know, great respect. Let's say, uh, so it says, um, take away our approach. For them that are escaped and that day shall the branch of Yahweh be beautiful and the glorious and the f and glorious and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and, com and, and calmly for them that are escaped all right all right because like the elder was saying there's going to be a lack of men because a lot of men are going to get put to death and women are going to get put to death too all right because women you, you're going to be held accountable for your sins this is uh matter of fact Numbers five. So if you're wondering why the the Bible, you know, it says men, men, and it, it always you know, speaks about men committing these crimes, women, you, you're going to be held accountable for these laws too when you break them. All right. Now some laws you can you know do a trespass offering like it says here or a, a sacrifice. And some laws you break on to death. It says uh, Numbers five and five and Yahweh speaking to Moses saying, speaking to the children of Israel, when a man or a woman all right, a man or a woman shall commit any sin that men commit to do a trespass against Yahweh, and that person be guilty, then they shall confess their sin which they have done, and shall recompense his trespass with the principle thereof, and add unto it the fifth part thereof, and give it unto him against whom he hath trespassed. All right, now that's of course if it's not unto death. All right. So that's just the scripture where it speaks about men and women. So anytime you see a law where it says you have to keep this, do this, don't do that. All right. It's referring to, unless it's like a woman can't do it, that particular sin. All right. But most sins, you know, men and women can commit. All right. So it clearly tells you here men and women, but it's not going to say women most of the time. All right. It, sh it should be... Uh, Shit, that's, that should be something that be that's automatic. All right. So if that was uh, edifying. All right. So we're gonna move on to this video. No, not her. We, she's next. All right. This is a vlogger. He's from uh, London. I believe he said he's East London. His father is from Uganda, and his mother, I forget. One of them was from Uganda, but he grew up in London, so he just goes around, you know, vlogging. You know, it's, it's different vloggers on YouTube, you know, and just to see how you know he was treated. You know, this is a, a women's school or something like that, a women's school, and you know, given you know he has a camera, and they're not used to seeing, I guess, dark skinned uh, people with I guess with his features or whatever. He looks like he looks like he looks like an African. All right. 
he has that that phenotype the elder was talking about all right and he was pretty much treated like a like a superstar he actually was walking around like in this video right here i'm not scared i'm happy here i think it's this one he met ran into a i guess a, a pakistani dude that worked at a bank and he basically took him around and acted as his guide and paid for every damn thing all right so that's how we're gonna be treated we're gonna be treated you know with respect with uh like we're worth a damn you know we're not treated like that now because you know our women are under a curse you know we're under a curse so let's, let's video play oh this is your hustle oh yeah oh wow Guys, he's showing me. Look at this, he's showing me. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. All right, these are the seats. He's going to walk toward them, and they're just going to get right up. And see how she smiles, she's cheesing and shit? <laughs> now, another thing, they don't get visitors. I think he is the first person that ever came. I guess I think they're gonna say that he's the first visitor visitor you ever had. Uh, let's see. Yo, yo. Oh yo, yeah. Oh, oh. Hi, salam alaikum. Oh wow. This is no, you know Pakistanis, you know you got uh, the Hindi, uh, Hindu, and uh, is Muslim. Now the vlogger is a, uh, he is Muslim. He grew up in East London. All right. So I guess it makes it better for him. So when he goes around, he's like, yeah, I'm Muslim too. So, so I think he, I don't think he ran into any Hindi people. Or Hindu people, I think he ran into mainly Muslim, Muslim uh, Pakistanis. Oh, girls hostel. Yeah, hostel. Okay, wow, look at this. Thank you, Baba. Okay, oh, wait, is this uh, one? And now you can see he's like he's a, a superstar. And now it don't matter how he look. Okay, now when you see the dude, you see he's, now you you seen him, right? It don't matter how he look. All right, he's not uh well he he's a tall guy though. You know, six feet, you know, I'm only 5'10", right? See, oh, you, are you two inches short? <laughs> you gotta be six feet. You gotta be over six feet, actually. Uh, what else? Um, you ball, You going bald? I don't like bald, guys. Uh, oh, man. You, 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 you too fat? I don't like fat, guys. Uh, what else? Just, just, just think of some other stuff, guys. Uh, okay, wow, look at this. Thank you, Baba. Okay, oh, wait, this uh, Sit down. Sit yeah. down? Uh-huh. Okay. That's what I was talking about. You see that? Let me turn the volume down so I can talk while you're moving. He says, sit down. They just got the hell up. Hey, had to stand there, argue with him. Like, well, we have a guest here. Can you please get up? Please? You know? Watch, it, watch, you know, watch their faces. No, I'm giving. There's a camera there, and they don't get visitors. But that's how... Pop, uh, popular and well known and anxious people are going to be to look at us just to look at us when he was walking around i guess pakistani people um they like they're very visually looking at you i don't know they like looking at you <laughs> so uh, let's go Now, another thing that you're probably going to notice, you, you're going to know some of them look like Edomites because, you know, when Alexander was campaigning in India, Pakistan and India used to be one country. Uh, and from the maps I've seen, he if if you look at the maps, he pretty much made it into what today is Pakistan. He never really he never made it uh, farther in where India is today. But it used to be one country. So when they were when Alexander was fighting the Indians, he was fighting. He wasn't fighting on Muslims. He's fighting those Hin Hindu uh indians all right because islam didn't exist back then all right and he was pretty much fighting in this area where pakistan is today these two countries used to be one country pakistan and india and i, I don't remember i don't uh, uh know why they split up maybe with tribal reasons or religion i don't know but they used to be one country Thank you, Baba. Okay, wait, is this uh, going? So yeah. Baba might leave father. I don't, I don't okay. know if Baba may. Been how are you, sir? How are you, sir? I'm, I'm very good. Salam alaikum. I'm very good. Salam right. alaikum to you, sir. Right. I'm going to sit. This is, what's this? This is Baba. Yes, this is our cook. 
He's my baba, my baba. Oh, he said, this is our cook. This is our, this is our cook. I think she said, this is our cook. I thought he was like the master of the house. Cause she, I guess he found him on, on the street. I think he's staying at a hotel near there. And I guess he went out and then he saw him. They started talking and saw the camera, you know. So, so the main point is just look at how he's being treated. All right. It's going to be just like this. When those, those, those men die and they get put to death, when they get scattered, when they get in j jailed, uh, these women, and with a lot of them, I'm going to get the same treatment. But, you know, there's more women than men. We're going to get the so-called royal treatment. You know, as much as we can possibly get in this bitch. You know, but when we get in the kingdom, it's, 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 it's all low. We're going we gonna to be shining like the stars in heaven. Yeah, how is Shai Rat is a... Baba, 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 yeah. Baba. Ah. What's your name? Your name? My name is Nagina Sir. Please, if you don't mind, I don't want this. Okay, I feel myself, no problem. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, this, I'm Nagina Zena. All right. We all are living in a hostel. Okay. Yeah, this is our school there. All right. And this is our area, Chitral. Okay. And these all are our friends. Okay. We are preparing, yeah, we are preparing for our exams, ah, upcoming ah. exams. We are having. Yeah, right. so okay. we all are. Right, yeah, he, now he's trying to be, you know, be respectful, you know. I, he, I think he grew up around Benjamites uh, in London. but uh, Or just, you know, uh, West Africans in, in uh, London, East, East London. All right. Very far away from our homes. Okay. And you're from Africa, right? Um, from Africa, but I'm from London, England. Oh, England, yeah. right. I'm yeah. filming for YouTube. Is it possible if I can show the camera? It's, it's, it's okay? No, it's not. Like, oh, it's forbidden? Yeah, oh, yeah fuck. it's forbidden to oh, Guys, video. sorry guys. So if okay. you don't mind, please, we don't want it. Please just... No, I'm just filming. No, the camera's facing me. Okay, it's yeah. fine then. It, it's on, but it's facing okay. me. Okay, sorry, Okay. Sorry. Hello, as alaikum. Okay, I'm very good, I'm very good. Um, can I just get your sir, faces? Just we, no, no, we just oh, it's want forbidden? Your, name, your introduction. Oh, my What's introduction? Yes, sir. Okay, um, hi, my name is Amir. I'm from London, from England, and I make videos on YouTube. Yeah, so sir. I travel around the world, and I've come to Pakistan. Okay. Pakistan's in the back to show people <laughs> Pakistan's good. Yes, oh. and I'm here with Baba. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are also a patriot. We really love our country. Okay, okay. Yeah, we really love our country. We love Pakistan. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so, <laughs> they want them to be on camera. They like just turn it okay. toward them. Thank you. Okay. I really appreciate. It. Can I? Can I see? Can Can I walk or no? No. Okay. No, no problem. I respect. I respect. Yeah. Um, how old? How old are people? Like, what are the ages over here? How old yeah, are? Yeah, we are like uh, we are 16, 18, like 17, 14. 15, 14. Like from grade 14. eight to grade twelve. So I'm I'm thinking there. Uh, this is like a, a a school, a college for for girls. That's what it seems to look like. You said hostel. Uh, that means a house. I don't know what a mean, hostel means. It sounds like a ho house or school uh, or hotel. But this this is act. This is a school because. She said grades, and then I've seen them with papers and pens in their hands, so there's like a school. Being here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, this is our hostel, like private hostel. So okay. there's our school. It's uh, AKHSS. Okay. Yeah, okay. and uh, yeah. Can I ask a question? Am I the first foreigner to come here? Uh, yes. Actually, no, sir. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're the foreigner. Yeah, you're the first foreigner in our <laughs> hostel. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in our school, but it's not that case with our school. There were many people, they had visited our school because okay. it's a type of global school. Okay. All right. Now, now you see how they're crowding around, you said 15, 16, 17, uh, looking at them, you know? Now, the, when these foreigners come to America, you think we're going to look at them? We don't give a, a, sh we don't give a shit about uh, foreigners coming to America, right, for the main part. All right? They'll, you know, follow you around, ask you questions, you know, uh, help you. You know, in America, you might, <laughs> you know, it's different. America's really rough. Especially Philadelphia. Philadelphia is very rough. Uh, it's supposed to be a city, city of brotherly love, but it's not really like that. Um, School, but it's not that case with our school there were many people they had visited our school because okay. it's a type of global school okay and yeah in our hostel you are the first one so thank you like inshallah there'll be many many yeah. foreigners to come here and to understand uh, <laughs> and the life around here it's very nice to see you yes thank you very great and to meet thank you. you thank you yeah thank you <laughs> yeah your women would never say that okay let me, let me hear that again 
you'll never hear this from your American woman or, or British British woman, wherever you brothers are dwelling at. Inshallah, there'll be many, many foreigners yeah. to come here yeah. and to understand uh, yeah. the life around here. It's very nice to see you, yes. Thank you. Very great, and to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you. we want to know about your YouTube channel, like we follow okay. you. Okay, so basically, YouTube has channel. anyone got a, a phone? No one has a phone? I'm or? having a phone. Okay, I'll give you my channel. Not now, just, you okay. can write it. Okay, I'll write it. Okay, Baba, you can hold, you can hold the camera. You can write it. <laughs> you can write it. <laughs> Baba, they can talk, or you can give the camera to her. Yeah. <laughs> Now you see some of them look like Edomites. That's because of Alexander. His, you know, when you conquer, not conquer, he didn't conquer the uh, East in, uh, Indians. Once you, he, he won a lot of battles and, you know, you got the women and you, you grape the women. Take, do what, do what you want with them. You know, carry some of them off into slavery. You, you know, do what you want with them. All right, so you make a seed amongst them people too all right um what was i going to say i think i was going to get a scripture um i think i was going to get zephaniah Ze and then we'll go back to the video this is zephaniah it's three and twenty because we're going to get our fame all right see when you have when you when you when the lord turns uh the fire up on east in esau's mind and it starts making him Start to, uh, to, to to bring about Jacob's trouble, all right? That's when you're going to have a mass. It's going to be massive death, desperation out there during the time of Jacob's trouble, and a lot of men are going to get get murdered. All right, a lot of you so-called black men are going to get murdered, and you Mexicans, you're going to get murdered. It says, at that time will I bring you again, even in the time in that in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith Yahweh. Alright, so we're gonna be praised. The other nations are gonna praise us. Alright. And we look up praise. Alright. Now your woman today, she's not gonna praise you. Alright. The uh, hala, and I like the last one right here. Object of praise, possessor of renown, the condition of being known or talked about by many people. All right, and that's what you see going on in this video. All right, it says praise, adoration, deep love, and respect. Now, we're not going to get that until a lot of people die, then we're going to get respect we'll at least get that thanksgiving praise song or hum a hymn pr praise glory mm. high renown honor won by notable achievements all right and what uh, doing the work keeping your the, your garments white making your uh, your vessel a uh a holy holy sacrifice daily let's go back to the video uh, pakistan the camera no for you you can talk pakistan yeah, did you, did you <laughs> So this is what's up, okay? I'm just touching my hair. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> He's touching his hair. You know the black. The black. <laughs> you know our women don't give a fuck about our hair unless they're getting paid to do it. Uh, they don't even care about their own damn hair. You know I'm talking about a certain tribe or tribes. All right, uh, Zindaba. I don't know what Zindaba means because he keeps saying Pakistan Zindaba. Uh, One, two, three. You want to take the picture for me? Yes. How? Because um, I'm from London. Yeah. I live with many Pakistani people in my area. Yeah. And when I was young, I wanted to come to Pakistan. Um, How did you find your country, sir? How? Because um, I'm from London. Yeah. I live with many Pakistani people in my area. Yeah. And when I was young, I wanted to come to Pakistan. Oh, God. But of 
many years ago, Pakistan had, has, ha, has had some bad history. So I was meant to come to Pakistan two years ago, but the pandemic, coronavirus. Yes. So I, I couldn't come to Pakistan. Yes. But now, Pakistan's open, so I came. So mm. how do you find the people of Pakistan, how Pakistani are actually? This is my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Pakistan is very good. Um, it is very beautiful. People are very hospitable. Yeah. And the food is amazing. And the country is very beautiful. So we want to serve with you. No problem. Okay. <laughs> my phone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you say all right, so he, so you get the point. He, he's pretty much a, a superstar. All right, superstar. I think there was some other points. This, is, this girl's gonna be talking, acting silly. Uh, and they're they're Muslim. They're talking. And again, they, they don't they don't get uh visitors. So so alright. Yeah, I said they don't get visitors, so it's gonna be pretty much just like what um the time of Jacob's trouble when a lot of men die and when women get put to death. They're gonna uh, they're gonna uh, mourn having no husband, no br no bridegroom. All right. So a a any man is gonna be like uh, a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. So this is a, a, a prime example of what it's gonna be like. No, it's gonna be worse. It's gonna they're gonna be in desperate. They're gonna, they're gonna be pretty practically smiling. They're gonna be in desperation for a man. To come to the aid. All right. Um, let me see what else we got. Let's duplicate that. Uh, what else is going to get? Isaiah thirteen. Isaiah thirteen. Oh, come on, man. Oh, numbers. Number. Lock. Chase Row. Says um, Isaiah 13, 12. I'm still recording. Says, uh, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir. So let's look up um, more precious. Now I've seen this in visions. Uh, in a vision. It was a terrible vision. To esteem, to be prized, be valuable. Right now, what's the what's the, the the recurring gains? Broken, dusty. You ain't six feet. You you ain't got no hair. You too short. You five seven. You too. You ain't you ain't really tall enough. <laughs> I just seen some crazy shit on YouTube, man. Uh, I like to go out to eat every week. <laughs> uh, you know, you can your brothers can fill some stuff in. All right, this is how you you brothers that make it, all right, that are uh, of the elect and uh, that are still alive. You going you you are the prize, valuable, precious, costly, high, v highly valued. All right, to be esteemed, costly. See, yeah, so it's going to cost. It's going to cost to be with be be with us. All right. It's not going to be, we got to cater to a woman. We got to get her uh, nails done. We got to buy, buy her uh, Brazilian weave. Buy her glue. I don't know how to do that shit now. You used to put glue in her hair. And then you put the hair on your head. You don't even know if that person's still alive. You could have a dead person's hair in, hair in your head. Right. Something precious. Pri prized. Let's see that. Prized. And they can call, okay. Pray, prize, order to move apart. Come on now, prize. Prize. A thing given for reward or the winner of a competition. So we're going to be the prize. So if, they, so if these women are counted worthy, they're going to be able to, to, to get you, to be with you. Because right? you are the prize. There you go. You're, you're the trophy. You be Israelite men, you so called black men, Latino, Native American men of your respective tribes. You are the trophy. 
You're the trophy husband, the man, the seed planter, the husband. All right. What else we got here? A man, golden wedge of Ophir. Let's look at Awa Payar. Now I believe the others were saying this was the gold from a, from uh, the New World, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Re yeah, reduced to ashes. So it's just talking about America. So the New World. Eleven uh, fine gold. Oh, fair gold reads, uh, fine, of high, of high quality, all right, at 5'7", balding, all right, 5'10", all right, you five, I'm 5'10", nope, you gotta be six feet, <laughs> uh, very celebrated region, abounding with gold. All right. So I believe this is uh, referring to America. The, the uh, Canaanites used to come over here and get gold and other you know, pre precious metals and um, resources reduced to ashes because Babylon America is going to be reduced to ashes. All right, Ophir. All right, so I think we got that. So. We're going to receive honor, glory, if we continue in the faith. Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon their walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. That's us. All right, the brothers that's doing the work. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, keep not silence. Yeah, we preach the gospel and we upload our videos on YouTube and they continue to preach for us. And give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So how those young women are treating that brother? He's he probably Israelite, you know. He says he's from Uganda, and his, yeah, Israelite spread. Uh, his parents are from you know East Africa, but you know we got we got brothers in uh, East Africa, if I'm not mistaken, all right? That believe and that preach, preach the gospel. All right, yeah, yeah, all right. So let's see. This is what's not going to make it to the kingdom. All right, this will never be. This is Tom and Jacob's trouble. This is going to be put to silence immediately. All right, why Miss Independent can't find Mr. Wright by Andy White. And this is in, I think, Wilmington, Delaware, November 2017. So we got good brothers in Delaware. All right, says, uh, oh shit, it says. 3,000 light says, uh, if a woman flirts with me, I'm instantly on the defensive and wondering what the scam is. Yeah, I, I see why he would say that. Because typically women don't uh, come up to men. So like, well, what the fuck she want? Because this is like, wait a minute, you know, you don't like being approached. You don't like being talked to by uh, random men. So like, well, what's the angle? So I understand that. Um. Profound men approach less women today because most women are unapproachable. Yeah, I didn't, and I didn't know this was down there. And I'll, I'll thumbs up that one right there, and I'll thumbs up that one. Let's right, so we'll get into the video. Now, I'm just going to take a shot in the dark. I guarantee the first thing she says is going to be stupid or crazy. I didn't watch this video yet. All right, I, I seen, I said, missing, I saw, I put a uh, woman's independence, and this is one of the first one of the videos that came up. And I, this is so-called black woman. I know something crazy will come out of her mouth. First thing, let's watch. So listen. My independent women to make some noise. <laughs> I'm Andy White, founder of I'm Sick of Single.com. And before I get started, I want all of my independent women to make some noise. Okay, I'm Sick of Single.com. All right. If I were to go on that website, I would, I would just leave a bunch of crazy comments. So I ain't going to even. It going to even go. I mean, well, relevant to why she's single because she's independent. That's why she's single. And during the time of uh, Jacob's trouble, this woman won't exist. This shit in her hair, or this face paint, you might be on a fast. That little tummy right there. Uh, 
Now, you might be on a mandatory fast or in- involuntary fast because of the famine and the city's being cut off. I was listening, besides that dumb shit she just said. Let's see. Mr. Wright, I hear y'all, and today I'm going to teach y'all how to find Mr. Wright. Because we're not taught that. As women, we are taught one universal thing about dating, and that is to wait. Wait for the man to approach you. Wait for the man to ask you for your number. All right, that's actually more, that's actually, uh, you know, a little smarter now because women are actually going to become more desperate, you know, when the, uh, the famines and the city starts getting cut off. Not not now, but I'm talking about when those things happen. That was, that was actually more, a little intelligent. That was, uh, that was intelligent. Now, I'm just saying, <laughs> just, just that. Let's see what else she's going to say. It's only 10 minutes? Oh, shit. Wait for the man to ask you on a date. And do you know what that truly teaches women? That everything in our love life is on a man's time and terms. And there you go. See, I was trying to, I'm not going to curse. Uh, I use a bad word. But there you go. So, and, but that's true. Everything is on a man's time. And uh, what she said? That every love life is on a man's time and terms. Right. So I don't need to listen anymore. So see, this attitude and this shit in your hair all right, is going to get you, make you single forever. You're going to be, become the, like the ground. All right. We don't need her anymore. Don't need her anymore. All right. So you keep that attitude. You're going to stay alone, and then you're going to be put to death. Against the truth before the truth. Second Adam. He's using these people to come up against those who started this whole fucking shit. Eve, Eve and the serpent. And the serpent. That's who's being called out primarily God. in the core in these last days, and they hate it. They hate God. correction. God. This is the first time in a long time where those two primarily have been called. So it comes as a shock to people. Yeah. But it's prophecy. It, it has to happen. It had to happen. <laughs> there was going to come a point where the Lord going to start exposing yes. the nigga woman. Right. And now, yo, it's so bad for them now. Man, go on Facebook and watch them videos. Yeah. You got black women right. doing videos on the black. Brother, it's just like an endless supply. Yeah. One, but I'm telling you, yeah. you got a whole bunch of female, yep. female Kevin Samuels. Yes. Females, black. Some of them are pretty looking yeah, black women. Yep, yep. Female Kevin Samuels. Yeah. Don't forget about them sisters now. Female I Kevin. Yeah, they it. doing videos. Look, if you you stupid bitch. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Yeah, yeah. All you dumb bitches. Yeah. That the most high pretty much yeah. is kind of putting the black woman yeah. slowly back in order. It was like I was once a modern woman that he talked about, but now. Yeah, I see what he was saying. I learned. I, 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 he bettered my life. And they're <laughs> cursing out the uh, you other bitches now, man. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. The serpent and Eve are finally <laughs> being called out, and the second Adam is using them, using people on the earth through the spirit. Start with the men of the Lord, but then you got pretty much like you saying these other men that are raising up the two yep. thirds. Yeah, all kind of men are just raising up, and even the women. Now are being put back in some form of a to understand, like, damn, they're right. Uh, yeah, they're doing the prophecy pretty much. is showing them, damn, they were it's right. It's the prophecy because yeah. the prophecies are happening. Right, right. Because right. they see seeing Esau killing Jake. They see seeing there's food shortages. I went to the supermarket. I want you to read the scripture. Mm-hmm. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Yo, the, the shit is there's empty shelves and empty. You go to Walmart or Target, try to get some t shirts or some. Underwears inside you—it's hard to find for some T-shirts. This shit is getting short. It's getting it's like yo, it's nothing there. It's like yo, what the f- empty. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Empty. You mm-hmm. see? So the price. So people seeing it. The the, the the thing with the baby formula. Oh yeah. So we end the day of Jacob's trouble now, but it's gonna escalate each fucking day at each at each sunrise, man. Read that scripture, brother Baba Kusha. Well, I just go to the one we was gonna start with. It's Isaiah ten and five. Read it. Read it. Oh. I think it's talking about the Assyrian. Oh, Assyrian, what's the modern? Yeah, well, and then, uh, you know, Esau, the Assyrian is a modern-day uh, Edomite. He's going to put hell 
on two thirds of Israel here in America, and a lot of them are going to be killed. All right, and the ones that that escape, come about the women, they're not going to have no husbands, and and the men that escape, they're not going to have no leadership. So they better escape to, if they have the elect, escape to to one of the prophets, and be under their protection. Now those men and women that escape, you know, whatever system Esau put out to kill you. The only hope you're going to have is, is the Lord's elect for protection, or his prophets anyway. All right, because they, they may, re, what, may very well be of the elect. Now, it says, uh, second Ezra, I think I was going to get. This is uh, second Ezra 16. 33, I think it's the point. Let me go up. Uh, this is basically a, a picture of how it's going to be. During the time of Jacob's trouble, and the earth, thirty, second uh, Ezra sixteen thirty two, and the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways, and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel through there through. The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their uh, bridegrooms be destroyed. And their husbands shall perish of famine. All right. So a lot of men are going to be put to death. All right. And the only uh, men that are going to be able to, to function outside of the system are going to be the Lord's elect. whom the Lord elected to be delivered in those chariots. And there's going to be a great uh, distress. It's called the time of Jacob's trouble. A time of trouble that haven't been on the earth before. It's going to happen. All right, and the Bible keeps repeating it. All right. All right. Who's going to bring that time of Jacob's trouble? The Lord's going to uh, put the, the mind in Esau to, to kill a lot of Israelites. And a lot of men are going to be put to death. All right. It's the second Thessalonians 2 and 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Then and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's the prophets. All right, speaking about his destruction. And the brightness of his coming is the nuclear fire. All right. It's going to start the first brightness, is going to be the chariots going to come in. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Remember, Esau. All right, along with the little hats, they Esau too, of the tribe of Amalek. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceitfulness or lying wonders, what, the implant chip? You can have a normal life. Things are going to be uh, better, more affordable, more stable. All right, and with all deceivableness, because he's lying, because the end is going to be your death, your destruction, if you agree with Satan, because he's going, he's going to kill the men in the wars and in the insurrections and in the famines. He, Satan's going to kill him, going through, uh, going to use the Esau to do it. All right, you know, if Satan here is, uh, you know, is talking about Esau, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them. That uh, perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for the, uh, yeah, that they might be saved. They're, they're not. They're not listening to us. They're not listening to us. All right. All right. And the spirit that's in Esau is Satan. All right. You have the spiritual demon Satan. Then you have his uh, physical counterparts. All right. Because. When we're in our right mind, you know, we're uh, fueled by the Holy Spirit. All right. When when Esau is in his right mind, he's you know, fueled by Satan. All right. Who's coming is after the working of Satan. Right? So his power he gets from Satan. All right. So they're not listening to us. They're not we're telling you how to be. And I give you an example. And I'm going to go back to it. That's how you're supposed to be as Israelite woman. All right. 
And you men, you're supposed to learn these scriptures and go out and teach. And because they receive not the love or the truth that they might be saved. So they're not going to be saved. All right. The people that uh, don't believe the gospel as we preach it, you're not going to be, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord going to get rid of you. All right. But I, I had a title. Uh, this prayer is the same video I'm doing now. It says, the Lord will purge out every incompliant person in Israel. The Lord will purge out every in, in, incompliant person in Israel. Hey, Google. Define incompliant. According to Merriam Webster, not compliant or pliable. Not pliable. Not compliant or pliable. Let's look at the pliable. Pliable means easily bent, flex, flexible. Oh, yeah, they ain't doing that. They ain't, they ain't making adjustments. These women, these men. Easily influenced of a teenage mind. Oh, did, what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, you have to become a little child. Incompliant means not easily pliable. Mean you, 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 can't, you can't get right. You can't get right. Let me get that. This is Matthew... 18 at the same time at that time at this at the same time came the disciples into Yahweh Shai saying I'm all right, who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven and Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and verily I say unto you except you be converted and become as little children you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven Man, that's a hell of a statement. Right. And I'm telling you, Israel ain't going to do that. They, they're not going to forget everything they learned and, and pray fast and prepare themselves. Actually prepare yourself to, to digest this knowledge. They ain't going to do it. Except you be converted and become as little children and ye shall, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little as this little child the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven whoso and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me but whoso will offend here we go here we go woe unto the world because of offenses for it must needs be offenses come but woe or destruction to that man by whom the offense cometh yeah so if you offend it well, to what because of offense it's going to come so if you offend it hey the lord gonna you gonna get rid of you all right so that's the that's the way that you know you know two-thirds of israel anyway in, in america they're not going to take they can't convert they can't get right there's no way they can become little children become humble and start over all right okay what's the instruction For a lot of tourists, and it, you know it's so safe place. So you can visit Pakistan anytime. Thank you. Can I have it? Come here, please. Normal life. Come here. Student of a British ma'am called Kate Scott. Superstar. Alright. I wish I can have split this up so we can keep it on the screen. Hold on. 
Alright, so we can uh, just mute it. Yeah, you. Alright, I'm still rolling. I'm still rolling. Right, okay, so we have 1 Corinthians 14. It says, uh, follow, this is not the scripture I want it. Follow after charity and just desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you prophesy. Yeah, because you brothers, you're supposed to got to prophesy. If you don't understand prophecy, you don't have, you didn't eat the whole roll. Um, I wanted it actually uh, 11 and 1, but it was something here that I wanted. Something about shame. Let's go control F. Shame. There we go. 35. We will be good. 35. Okay, 34. It says, uh, let your woman keep, 1 Corinthians 14, 34. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted to them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. All right. So you can't teach an independent woman. Uh, that's... Uh, now all of a sudden she's aggressive now because she don't want you to have the power to ask her out and that's what that's what the woman was saying basically and so she's still going to be single so she basically teaching women how to eat and be, how to be how to continue being single still because they still have that that i'm in charge attitude so now i'm going to ask you out now all right good luck good luck with that all right with that arrogant attitude you ask start asking men out you better be humble doing it if and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. Yeah, because men are in charge. All right. For it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. I don't care what pastor, woman pastor stands up and says, this is a mistranslation or it was just this one church as also saith the law. Now, let me do something. Let me click. Tools. Uh oh, it was Mike was muted. Slovakia. The video must be getting good because I'm starting to fuck up now. All right. I don't know what I was saying, but Mike was muted. Uh, so I looked up Corinthians 14. And it says, As also saith say the law. It goes back to Genesis 3 and 16. Genesis 3 and 16. You go down to the Greek, we have Koryo, uh, and we got to exercise, there we go, the Lord rule have the main over of the things, forces to exercise influence upon to have power, all right, that's the root. Look up the Hebrew, Mashal. Mashal. So I have rule, dominion, reign, exercise, rule, dominion, sovereignty, or control over something. All right, so. And he shall rule over thee. All right, so that means the man is the head of the household. All right, point, period, point blank, period. Look up family, husband. The family means household of slaves. I look up family in the uh, Zionist dictionary. It tells you that you know the father had power over life and death over the over the whole household. All right. Um, so go back to what the woman was saying. We are taught one universal thing about dating, and that is to wait. Wait for the man to approach you. Wait for the man to ask you for your number. And wait for the man to ask you on a date. And do you know what that truly teaches women? That everything in our love life is on a man's time and terms. Ladies, if you think that is asinine, because you don't wait for anything in your life, then it's time to bring that same level of confidence and proactivity that you bring to every other area of your life, to your love life. Because the reason you can't find Mr. Right is not because you're not beautiful, and it's not because you don't bring valuable things to the table. 
The reason you can't find Mr. Right is because you are waiting on him to find you. Wrong. That's not right, actually. That's wrong. All right. The reason why you can't find Mr. Right is because you're wicked and evil and you don't do shit. So I was open your damn legs. All right. And your mouth. And your mouth won't fucking close. We were in 14. As also said, so I, I meant to actually bring out the 11th chapter. All right, uh, you want me to make sound so that you, that you want me to, so uh, men are in charge. I mean, I don't need to go over this again. It's like, you went over this 10,000 times. Uh, it says, uh, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord if any man be ignorant let him be ignorant or woman well, I got brought out in Numbers the 5th chapter alright so we want to tell you you know the right way but then you know if you don't get it then we gotta move on alright uh, I was meant to get the 11th chapter Chris Corinthians 11 it says be followers of me even as I also am of Hamashiach now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. So when we teach you, you're supposed to analyze what we say, cross-reference it, look it up, and then follow it. All right? Like the elders and apostles would say, as the church of Berea. All right? And it tells you about the order right there. It says, uh, but I would uh, have you know that the head of every man is the Lord. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the Lord is Yahweh. The head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. So let's go look up head. Kafale. Uh, anything supreme or chief of persons, masters, lord, of a husband in relation to his wife. Kafale. All right. The head, both of men and often of animals, since the loss of the head destroys life, this word is used in the phrases relating to capital and extreme punishment. And metaphorically for, you know, when, when the men die, go back to Ezra's, the women are going to uh, be exposed, exposed to death, the danger, the vir the second Ezra 16, the virgins shall mourn having no bridegroom, the women shall mourn having no husband, the daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall the bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of Yahweh. All right. Now, you know, it's crazy. I, pa I paused the video to find something, and it paused on one hour, four minutes, and 41 seconds. <laughs> All right, but I'm, I might edit this video because I had it muted and I was talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> might have to edit this video if it sounds crazy. Now listen to more what she got to say. This is how you don't want to behave All right, so far. You know, she said a few good things, but. He's, she's fucking it up slowly, surely, slowly but short, surely. All right, we roll in. All right. And don't get me wrong, because I wholeheartedly believe in the scripture that says, he who finds a wife findeth a good thing. My question to you, however, is what are you doing no, she didn't just say that. <laughs> no, she didn't just say that. Now I got to get that that scripture. Now, this is overtime right now, so. This is overtime. All right. Um, hmm. He who findeth what she believes in that scripture. So this is the selective picking out. <laughs> We're going to put her to death. Uh. At least she repent, but you know, 
you know, it's, you know, you know, it's probably not gonna happen. All right, it's uh, what's that? Second, that's no Ecclesiasticus, I think. It's thirty-six. Yeah, video's getting good. That's why Satan's trying to fight me now. I'm getting tired too. Working all damn day. Thirty-six. The beauty of a woman. Cheer. I'm rolling. Cure the countenance and a man love nothing better. Twenty-four. Ecclesiasticus thirty-six and twenty-four. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a like a help. A help like unto himself and a pillar of rest. A help like unto himself and a pillar of rest. And watch. He walks over. He says, hey, take a seat. Okay. Wait, this uh, sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Uh -huh. okay. there, I think they were already standing up. <laughs> Damn. Excuse me. I think they were, uh, the camera kind of goes off it. Uh, she might be uh, the one on the right she because she was doing a talking in the beginning she might be like the mother or something like that or the eldest the elder <laughs> he looks like a man like kind of like edomite too it's alexander babies right. now again since they're girls you know the the native you know can have sex you know procreate with the woman then you the child will be an Israel um, not Israelite <laughs> they might be Israelites but the child going to be of that nation of the father so when we get that spiritual power the angels going to be able to know who is who oh wow this is yeah yeah I think they were getting up as soon as the camera turned this way I think they started to get up and she was uh, our cheese and shit as soon as he walked in. Guys, he's showing me. Look at this, he's showing me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Salam Alaikum. Oh, wow. This is. <laughs> yeah, I think they started to get up when uh, the camera turned to the right. Oh, girls' hostel. Yeah, hostel. Okay, wow, look at this. Thank you, Baba. Okay, wait, this is. Sit down. Sit down? Yeah, they were already up. Been invited. I'm very good. Salam alaikum. I'm very good. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum to you. Yeah, she looks like a damn Edomite. Do a lesson just on that. Well, I did a lesson on that. The mangled people of the East. I think it was called mangled people. This is what's this? This is Baba. Yes, this is our cook. He's my Baba. He's a cook. So he's a cook. Baba. All right. Straight up like it. He don't no damn Pakistani. Straight up like an Edomite. The camera not gonna bite. And you know, women in America love the camera. They love that thing. You can't keep the camera off. You'll never see unless they doing something bad. You'll never see a woman do that. It was like, don't don't record me. Unless they doing something bad or something. You know, once we have evidence of uh, their, mis their misdeeds, you know, they don't want that to stick around. So you men, you brothers, are the prize. Uh, that's one. That's another scripture. Um, what was that scripture? Shoo men bring it again to mind. Shoo so to be men bring it again to mind. Remember this and shoo yourselves men bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am the power and there is none else. I am the power and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times. The things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Mm, look at that word, counsel. Via I taza, advice, purpose, prudence, advisement, counsel. So, whatever, he, whatever the Lord said or say, it's going to stand. So, that's the prophecies. All right, it's not going to come back void. All right, that's good. Look up man. These are important words I'm looking up. All right, this is, this is not superfluous. All right, this, so this right here is the actual whole word. Well, it's not the and, the wa, in the beginning. Because wa means and, and yourselves. Got wa on the end. 
means uh, I believe that means uh, self. Show yourselves, men. And it's the the root. Well, the word here we got ha the shash means manly. Hathashashwa, Hathashashwa, yourselves, men, yourselves, manly, and yourselves, manly. All right. All right, look it up. All right, all right. That's the root. Just means man and the root, but man, but the, the actual word to be a man, to show masculinity, a champion, great, to be a man, to act in a manly way. I mean, stand up and do what's right. All right. And man, we our duty is to preach the gospel. All right, that's our first duty, our first love. Shoe and self or act like a man to be wise, cast away childish. Oh, look at this, cast away the childish trifles of idolatry. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's see if I can find the Greek. I think in the Greek. The word they're using there is epis strafo. Epistrafo. Alright. The word man is not there in the Greek. It's Septuagint. Which means uh turn to the Lord with wisdom. Or with wisdom. Uh epistrafo to turn and worship the true God that's what it means to be a man turn to worship the true God all right to love and obedience of God to to the love and obedience of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. to turn to love Yahweh by Shemi Shai. convert another powerful word see what how it's used in the New Testament Yahweh Shai turned him about he turned and return let you turn in peace return convert convert to turn all right because we are a very poetic poetic people speaking um allegories remember this and show yourselves men bring it again to mind oh you transgressors bring it again to, to your mind or turn to Yahweh wisely alright are you doing to be found <laughs> and so how you help Mr. Wright find you is by developing the courage to flirt first and I say that for three main reasons. The first is because men approach significantly less today than they did just 10 years ago. And they approach less for one main reason. And it's because women are less approachable. Well, that's right. That's right. Now, I think I'll end it there. Uh, that, that, that's true. All right. And uh, obviously, you know, we're men of the men of the Lord, so there's a certain way we can know, conduct ourselves. You know, for women, that's in the truth. But you know, you, when this thing go down, when Second Ezra takes place, oh yeah, Second Ezra takes place. I'll just get it on my phone so you can watch the video. And uh, I'll just speak. When second nature takes place, women aren't going to be uh, trying to approach men so they can be equals. That's what she's talking about. She's talking about you women, you approach men so you can be their equal. So you can, be, so you can rule with them. It'll be like uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. It'd be like uh, Denzel and his wife. All right. It's uh, Sirach 36, 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. 25th verse. Where no hedge 
is there the possession is spoiled all right that's that's uh, in relation to the, to the woman if they don't have men to protect them they're going to be uh, destroyed they're going to get that get chained to that proverbial pole or actual pole in the damn boiler room and they're going to be somebody's toy because they have no hedge where no hedge is there the possession is spoiled and he that hath no wife uh, will wander up and down mourning meaning you know you're going to be lonely or whatever if, if you're a man without, without a wife you know, it's possible that's why you have uh, pay for play if you don't have a wife um, it says uh, and that was it on that so I'm going to go to what was that uh So mourn. What was that? Um, second Ezra's. Sixteen and thirty four. It says the virgins, 33, shall mourn having no bridegrooms, and the women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars, their bridegrooms, in the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. And right, we're going to get the uh, cities being cut off. Red. Second Ezra is 15. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. 19 verse. Second Ezra 15, 19. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Go up to the uh, 16th verse. Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Nor in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So if, so if a, a wild, crazy uh, Edomite or, or Israelite that, that won a woman, he ain't going to give a shit. All right. Invading one another. Right. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. I read I read uh, the fifth chapter. Let me read the numbers of five again. I'm talking about men, I'm talking about women too. Numbers five and six, speaking to the children of Israel, when a man or a woman shall commit any sin that men commit to do a trespass against Yahweh and that person be guilty, then they shall confess their sin which they have done. All right? All right, you, you got to be six feet, all that crap. Uh, you got to be a uh, you five ten. Oh, you got to be six one at least. <laughs> well, that's another one. If your if your waist size is under thirty four, you don't qualify. <laughs> all right, got to be a thirty four uh, waist. All right, it says uh, you don't qualify, brother. I'm talking about you mainly, you black man. Uh, uh, it says uh. A man shall desire this thirty-four. Uh, second Ezra fifteen and seventeen. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So you're gonna have these men, these thugged out uh, men with the uh, with their little guns and uh, their, their toughness. They, they bench press four hundred pounds. All right, I guess they're cool too. They got the, uh, the designer jeans on and the, the Jordans, whatever the fuck these niggas are wearing. They're down, uh, uh, got the chains, they iced out and all that. 30,000 on the neck. All right. Oh, yeah, he goes to another one. He goes to another one. 
So this is another one. So. <laughs> it's funny. I just thought about this. They're actually introducing them. He, these Pakistanis are introducing this man to all these young, young women. Guess y'all brothers can do a video on that. Now maybe that's that's the only thing that's there. I guess they didn't show him none of the books. They didn't show him their studies. He's these. They literally bringing him around to meet the women. <laughs> uh, a man uh, second Ezra 15 and 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation man it's going to be bad and the vision I had was yeah, three women I've told this before I was sitting in the back seat of a car. I don't know who was driving, but whoever was driving was was uh, didn't show no emotion, didn't show um, any mercy, remorse. Yeah, three women on my left side. I looked out my left window, and then the back window was down. These three women were crying. Asking me to, to teach him the law, teaching the law. They specifically said law, teaching the law. And I was in my, I was back in my old neighborhood, in Philly, and I was on my my mother's block. I, I tend to have recurring dreams on my mother's block. A lot of evil went down on that block. And I was in the car, and I, I looked, and they was like wailing, they were like crying. They had these really fat, sad faces. Had it was three women, you know. You brothers, you can interpret the dream. You know, it could have been, you know, Israel as a whole. You know, we how we say black, Latino, Native Americans. It could have been that, or it could have been uh, women, just from the from the tribes of so-called black, Latino, Native Americans. And they were crying. I was looking at them like, like strange. Like, why, why are these women talking to me? I was like astonished that they were talking to me. Like when when the, when the Lord taught the woman and the disciples, like they were astonished that they. they the type the disciples were astonished when he spoke with, that he spoke with the woman. That's how I felt. How how the disciples felt when the Lord was talking to that woman. And they was astonished, like why why is the Lord talking to this woman? That's how I felt when the women were talking to me. I'm like, why are these women talking to me? They didn't teach me the law. Teach me the law. And then whoever was driving just uh, uh, chirped second gear, just threw it in one. Chirp, it was automatic. I'm just being dramatic. He just burnt off. You know, if you drive a stick, stick shift, you know you throw it in the second real fast you can spin the tires that's what the, the whoever was driving did it was he showed no emotion the women were either they were hanging out the window or they just disappeared but i just looked forward looked at the driver and the driver was just moving fast i'm like damn you know, i ain't showing no emotion either i'm showing i'm showing more emotion after but during the time i just was astonished that the women were talking to me like why are these women talking to me so y'all can interpret that dream you know whatever way y'all want but uh, that was uh, probably the most, or one of the most, you know, pointed, dramatic dreams I've ever had, visions, dream or vision I've ever had. So, pay for great suffering. But there's light at the, end, at the end of the tunnel for Israel. Let me read this one. This is what's going to happen to us. Let me read that. Uh... This is Isaiah 45 and 15. Who's going to be? It's the uh, Obadiah, the first chapter. Well, there's only one chapter. It says, and saviors shall come out of to Zion. All right. Saviors shall come out of Zion. That's plural. Saviors. Because the men are going to be one to save. It's going to save these women that are of the elect and going to save the men that are of the elect. All right, through the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Ve uh, ve uh, verily, thou art a God that hidest thyself, O power of Israel, the Savior. 45 and 15, Isaiah. All right. 
So, whatever, however the Lord do it, whether He gonna send an angel, He gonna put superhuman strength and ability in, in certain brothers, Israel, the elect are gonna be are gonna be saved. All right, forty five and sixteen, Isaiah. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. So if you went to this Islam and you went to worshiping the woman, worshiping Esau, worshiping the devil, you concerned about getting rich, you you involved in idolatry. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded the world without end. All right. That's all of Israel. All right. Let me get a. Uh, go back to um, Isaiah 4 where we started at. Isaiah 4. one it's Isaiah 4 and 1 it says and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach in that day shall the branch of Yahweh be beautiful and glorious and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel escaped look that word escape up because not everybody going to escape all right this is uh i said where you at four and two i've, I've looked this up before they are escaped they got ma ya pa la yata h64 13 or paul yata escape delivered Deliverance, escape deliverance, escape remnant. All right, deliverance that is escaped remnant. All right, so the escaped remnant, all right, are going, going to be saved. All right, but the rest of Israel are going to be destroyed. So, hope the lesson was edifying. Shalom. Oh, yeah, and you're going <laughs> to be under your husband. All right, you're going to be under your husband. All right, shalom.